Hello, art people. Welcome to day one of a new lesson. This is called My Name in Lights. The objectives are I am illustrating. What does illustrating mean? If somebody is a book illustrator, what's their job? Yeah, they draw the pictures for the book. So if you're illustrating, that means that you're going to make a picture of something. So I am illustrating the light created by light bulbs so that I can explain the process of making art while I create art. I'll know I've got it when I've explained how I'm illustrating the light created by light bulbs with chalk pastels. We're going to pause it here and we're actually going to go over some different pictures that I found with decorative light in the USA, Central America, Mexico, and Africa. But I'm going to pause the video here and we will talk about these. All right, now that we have talked about all of that, we are now going to listen to a little story, and it's a true story. It's about the invention of the light bulb. Okay, that was a pretty cool video, right? Now it's time to do our artwork. So if you're the kitty cat, you can get a black piece of paper for everybody at your table. Okay, great. And now, kitty cat, you actually have a lot of jobs today. Now you have to get out the crayons. Okay, in the bottom right corner of your artwork, right down here, you guys are gonna write your name with a white crayon. And you'll write your class. The first part of writing your class is writing a K for kindergarten. The second part of writing your class is writing the first letter of your teacher's last name. So it might be an S, an H, it could be an R. I'll write the letter on the board for you. Okay, great. Now that we have our name and our class, you guys will have to fill in this blank here. Now we're going to draw some light bulbs. Okay, this part of all the lessons is always the same. Whenever we're doing the drawing part of our lesson, you can always, number one, follow with my tutorial. Number two, copy from the reference images. Number three, draw from your imagination, as long as you're drawing the same subject and following the directions, or a combination of two or more of those options. So first, I'm going to draw the line that all the strings are gonna be on. So I'm gonna start up here. I'm going to go down and then I'm going to go up. I'm going to curve up Whee! and back down. And, you know, I think I'm going to go up a loop up here. Here I go up and down and I'm going to go down again. Ta-da! That's my string for my lights to go on. Now you guys can draw yours. Okay, good. Now we're gonna draw our light bulbs. So you need to have enough light bulbs for your name. So I am, my name is way too long to do this project. Look at all those letters. So I am just going to do this. This is a nickname. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five light bulbs. And you guys are going to need however many light bulbs you have letters in your name. Now, to draw the light bulbs, again, you can use from the reference images. You can draw one from your imagination, or you can follow my, my tutorial. And remember, if it's too tricky to make this shape for you, you could just draw a circle. Just make sure that they're big enough for you to write your letter in later. So we don't want them to be teeny weensy because we're going to have to write letters in them later. We want them to be about this big. Okay, I'm going to do one here and it's going to, I'm going to do a rainbow line and then a flat line. And then I'm going to do a smile line that goes all the way to the front of the rainbow line. Smile like that. And then I'm gonna draw a rectangle at the top. There's one. How many do I have to do? 
Yeah, I have to do five. So I need four more. So I'm going to do another one. I'll do the rectangle first this time. Rectangle. And then I'm going to do rainbow line. Flat line. Smile line all the way to the front of my rainbow line. Okay. I think I'll do this one over on this side now. Rectangle. Rainbow line. Smile line to my rainbow. One, two, three. I'll do another one here. Rectangle. Rainbow line. Flat. Smile line up to the front. One, two, three, four. And I need to do one more. Rectangle. Rainbow line. Flat. Smile line to connect. Okay, I'll pause it here and let you guys catch up. Okay, we're actually done with our crayons now, so we can put those away. And then the person who can now put the crayon boxes away are the kitty cats. Go ahead, kitty cats. Okay, now we're actually going to use something called chalk pastels. Can everybody say chalk pastels? Good. Um, some people actually call these soft pastels. Both are the correct words. But I always say chalk pastels. But they're also, what else could we call them? Yeah, soft pastels. I'm going to show you what I'd like you to do first. Okay, so when I say you guys can get these, which is not yet, they're going to be in a container like this. And on one of the side, there's these little... Um, these little snaps, they're snapped closed. So the kitty cat will, not yet, but later on, the kitty cat will be in charge of going underneath the bottom of the snaps and kind of flicking it up. Flick, like that. And then they'll open it. And then they'll put it in the middle of the table. Or actually, you'll probably want to pass it around and everybody would get one color. Okay, and then when that all happens, what you are going to do, and you're not doing it yet, later on, you would pick your color, I'm gonna pick orange, and then you trace the light bulb shape, not the string, the light bulb, the light bulb shape. And tracing means going over top of. So I'm going over top of this line, like that. Am I coloring on my hand? No. Am I coloring all over here? No. Just like that. And then I'm going to put it back. Then I have some chalk pastel dust on my fingers. Am I going to wipe it on my clothes? No. Because that will stain your clothes. Am I going to wipe it on my paper? No. Because it. we're not doing that. At the end of class, we're going to wash our hands. Okay. So then what you do next is you'll put your finger in the middle of the light bulb and then you'll push out. Watch, push out. And then I go back to the middle, push out. Go back to the middle, push out. Go back to the middle, push out. Like this. Okay, so do I go like this? Nope. Do I like draw, like do squiggles in it? Nope. We go to the what? Middle. And then we what? Push out. Okay, good. So we can all do our first one. We're just doing one. Okay. So if you are the kitty cat, get the chalk pastels. Okay. And then kitty cats are going to open it up. Kitty cat will pick a color and then pass it. All right. We all have our color. So you're going to trace, let's do it together. Trace over your line. Put the chalk pastel back. And then what are you going to do? Put your finger in the middle. And then what are you doing now? Tell me what you're doing while you're doing it. You're pushing the chalk pastel pushing out and pulling out. 
Okay, good. Now tell me what you're going to do next. Yes, you're going to pick another color. Okay, and now what are you doing? Yeah, you're tracing. You're going over your light bulb. And now what are you doing? Putting the chalk pastel away. Good job. Now what are we going to do? Yep, finger in the middle. And now what? Now what are you doing? Pushing out. Good job. Okay, and if you want to do the second one again, trace over again with the same color, push out again, you can't. Good job. All right, do the next ones and make sure you're telling your friends what you're doing while you're doing it. Tell your friend what you're doing now. Okay, tell your friend what you're doing now. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. Next time, in our next video, we're going to get a white piece of paper, draw shapes that will go, that will match our light bulb shapes, then we'll color the shapes, then we'll write the names of our letter, the letters of our name inside the bulbs, and we'll glue them on. So that will be really fun. But that's it for this video. It's time to clean up. So Kitty Cat can close it. Make sure you snap it and make sure you put this back on the shelf where you got it. And now we're going to, we're going to put on a video to watch and we're all going to take turns washing our hands while the video plays. Okay. And what's our voice level when we have a video on? Yeah, it's a zero. Why is it a zero? Yeah, so everybody can hear. That's right. And if we are cleaned up in time, then we'll do another art activity. Okay, you guys did a great job. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.